want sasa madhi umekucha kwangu you want me to support you then you are like sasa madhi mimi nilikuwa na kusho mimi hapa uh, kuna kawera na sasa hii kawera kako na nguri sasa you know even the way you are talking you've already put me off from the things you're telling me let me give you an example of one young man who called me last last uh, when, when was this this was when i was december this guy called me in october he didn't know me i didn't know him but he saw me being elected and he's born in uh, kimende and he is in masaimara university the guy goes to my messenger and writes me this message good morning mama county My name is I don't want to mention his name. I come to you for help. I am a student a first a second year at Masai Mara University. My prayer and my request is you listen to my story. I am a son of a single mother. A single mother who has struggled to make ends for us and my three other siblings. I am now a second year at Masai Mara University. When I was enrolled in the university, my mother struggled to bring me to the university to a point that she fundraised. When she called for a fundraiser, we did the fundraising at home and friends and relatives came only for them to give us 15,000 and we had spent 18000 to organize the event my mother had to struggle to borrow again and get me to the university as we speak now i am outside the house that i am renting not able to pay 3000 i've not eaten since yesterday and i am expected to do an exam tomorrow could you please come to my aid and i was moved by the story i asked i called him and i say i put a message there give me your mother's number so he give me his mother's number i tried calling the number i could not get through to the mother but later she called me and she told me i, I called her and i asked her i've been trying to get to you but auchukui simu zangu and innocently she tells me Nilikuwa nimeenda kibarua wale wanao wanaelewa kikuyu. Ngudhiete gutwira mudu nyeki cia kuhe ngombe. Todu mudu cio ni akudehaga na diuma na irio cia kuhe ciana. Riu ku gwigia bila guthie ku ni kitano ya thimo yaku. So na I'm asking how much money then she tells me ni ade haigana. So my children have lunch 100 shillings. So I told her I asked her, so and so your son then she said yes. So I told this boy to give me his number. So he gave me his number. We talked and he told me how he has suffered in the university. He's renting a house. I don't know what 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 story. And I helped him pay the rent. I gave him food and we and, and, and the, the rest is history. We've been working agenda together with this boy. But what am I telling you? His speech and the way he came to me. I'm not telling you to come to me. Kwa sababu watu wengine watasema umesema tutakuja. But I'm only saying the way he came to me I could not have helped not to help him I had to step in to his life why because look at even the way he's approaching me good morning mama county and I also realized the boy is only 22 but in his speech he is able to move mountains and speak and even to dine and eat with the leaders because he knows how to speak so in your speech as you talk to people how do you address them even your mother even your father how do you address them when they talk to you do you tell them sinilikuwa sinilikuwa nimekwambia you know sini see is an insult nilikuwa kikuyu anasamaka gidhe ulikuwa wapi ile dia yako ile tena turathie pwea you know that alone is an insult Your speech does not express who you are. It gives a wrong image and the moment it is wrong, 
Like even when you are using your social media, I always look at young people and social media and I really sympathize because I ask myself, why are they not making proper use of this gadget to change their lives? Because like me now, those of you that follow me knew that I have been a content creator all along. And now I am a politician. I no longer, I'm no longer active in YouTube. But can I tell you, the few contents that I have put in, in, in YouTube are still paid by Google. On 21st of every month, I get money in my account from Google. And I'm not active there. Last month, I only posted two videos in my account on um, YouTube. And I was paid the last month on 21st at midnight. Those of you that are in social media, that are in Google know that Google promptly pays at midnight of 21st of every month. So you can imagine day after tomorrow at midnight, I will be paid. On 21st of last month, I no longer am active even if you go and check on my YouTube. I'm not very active. But they paid me 32,500. That's a whole salary for uh, uh, an ordinary Kenyan. 32,500. I was paid on 21st last month. Why? Because I have decided to be using my speech in the right way. There are those of you who have great talents, but delivering them has been your problem. I used to MC events. I used to MC weddings. I used to MP, MC Ovanis. By the time I was leaving my MC to go for politics now in 2021, I was charging 100,000 to MC a wedding. And people paid. Why? Because I continued changing my speech with the time and I connected with the people I am talking to. So that now by the time I was leaving MCing, I was now MCing events of the who's are who's in this country. So you only grow as you grow your speech and you learn even how to talk and who you are talking to. Unafanya kazi gani? Sinilikwambia ninasoma. That alone puts me off. I will not want to ask you any other question. Sinilikwambia. You got to have a language of speaking as a young man. If you want us not to look down on you, raise your way of talking to people. Raise your way of putting your speech even in church. When you stand in church in front of people, how do you address the congregation? Just look at them in the eyes. Praise God. My name is Peter. I am born again and I stand here to present a song and may God bless you. Nakini wea kuwa mtu wa kusimamanga hapa tu. But this is to mekuja. Mekuja hapa tunataka kuwa chili ya ngoma. Eee. Na sisi tuko bado tuko chuo na tutataka mtu support mtu support yani mtu support tutakuwa tu tuko sawa you know my generation <laughs> my generation <laughs> which is this one here we immediately interpret like we are mukora or something because where we come from it is not that we are judging you but where we come from, those are not things that are done in church. In church, we expect somebody very composed coming to us in the name of my name is so and so. We have just come to do this and this. You may get people to support you in the things that you are doing. And out of that, then you will be able to interpret in your speech, you can move mountains. So when you are talking, prove yourself that you are worth Ukikutana na wazee kwa barabara hata wachungaji unakuta mchungaji kama huyu kwa barabara how do you how do you greet him bari yako mchungaji lakini nyinyi ni zile za sasa pasi kwaje it, it is okay because they are also pastors of that generation but when you look at these people you where ewa mtu anaelewa who you are talking to who are you addressing and how are you supposed to address such people in speech prove yourself a man when i say a man i mean both sexes men and women then paul is telling timothy be an example in conduct how do you conduct yourself when you are with people how do you conduct yourself when you are alone? How do you conduct yourself when you are with friends? Like now schools are closed. What are your common joints? Where are you being seen? What are you talking in those joints? What are you doing? What is your conduct? And your conduct also is even your way of dressing. Even when you come to church, 
The way you dress is also your conduct. You tell us who you are. You are a leader of praise and worship. You are a young girl. Na unakuja na nguo mzuri, mrefu kama hii yangu ya kukuja kufanya praise and worship kule mbele. Na ni mrefu tu kama hii yangu. Lakini iko na mkato mwingine imetoka tu huko chini mpaka hapa. And it is very open and very clear such that up to here you are naked but the rest of it is very wrong. You are sending a message in your conduct. You are telling us you didn't even know where you were going. Because it's also in conduct that you understand this is church. How do we go to church? Like now I was told I'm coming to talk to young people. So what do I tell myself? I want to go appear a mother. So I look for what is pretty, appealing, and motherly. So the cover here, you also accept my uyo masa, and you are going to go poor. Because you ask yourself, where am I going? But if you, your conduct speaks so much about you. Because kama squeeze, you know, I'm going to go to No, 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 Alafu mchungaji anasema tukuje kwa Holy Communion. And you are that very good Anglican, that very good Presbyterian, that very good AIC. Na unakuja, umenyenyekea sana. Damu ime bubujika ni ya Emmanueli wakioga wenye taka usafi wa kweli mpaka unafunga macho venye umejazwa <laughs> na matiti yote iko nje wakioga by the time you are coming to the holy communion matiti inafika mbele ya mikono Na mchungaji ni mwanaume. What, what messages are you sending? In your conduct, what are you telling us? What message are you telling us? You are a praise and worship leader. Uko hapa. Wale ambao ni wa AIC, PCA, AIC, PCA, SK. Wanajua wachungaji wanakaaga this side. Na uko hapa kwa praise and worship. Na uko nakanguwa kwa praise and worship. Kame katwa kutoka uko chini mpaka juu. Nina ni kama wewe bwana. Ai, mbona hata hawa wasiona kama yeye waona kama wewe? Because in conduct you are sending the wrong signal. But you know what? There are places for those clothes. Si mnaendaga party. Si mnaendaga mabash. So you know there are those clothes for the bash. So my people, let us be those people who understand where we are going. Let's understand Leon Siku Yamazishi. It's a morning day. People are not happy. People have lost their father. People have lost their mother. Let me not go and be the center of interest. What will Badara and Wakangaria when Yamekufa and Wewa and Angaria when you meva? Watu wanarusi interest na maiti wakuangalie bebe. Kwa sababu venye umeva, you are calling attention to everybody. You are almost half naked na ni kwa mazishi. The rest of the places you can do what you want. But in, 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 in conduct, just be that person who can be accepted. Like now, leo munaongea juu ya vijana. To vijana to invest. Like you, now, me, I have a facility that is called NGAF. NGAF, N-G-A-A-F. National Government Affirmative Action Fund. Because my city is of affirmative action. Meaning, we have also money that we give. We don't lend, we give. We, it, it's a grant. There are grants. Like if you have a group, like sasa hapa mkwe mkona ka group, Mumejiunga vijana about 50. Na mukona ka program munafanya kwenu. You come to my office. And now I'm talking of those that are from Kiambu. 
Because I will not do programs in Nairobi because Esther Pasaris is there. I will not do programs in Kajado because uh, Sankaira is also in Kajado. So what she has gotten is what I have gotten. So if you are from Kambu and you are a group of people, a 50 of you, and you are looking for, you want to do something, and your conduct is good, your conduct is going to lead you to my office in Kambu. It's going to lead you in my office in Kambu. You will come to the reception. You will find a lady there. And on that day, you are dressed to kill. Because you want to sell impression fast. Then you come and meet that lady. Number one, you are assured soldier kwa gate. Atakuwa lao wingie. Because even when you meva, unakaa kuja kwa ofisi. In your conduct. Then you come in, come to the reception. You find my lady there at the reception. Then you tell her, I want you to see Mama County. So what is your program? We have done a proposal. We need some money. And she will advise you on what to do, where to fill the forms, what to do. If I am there, they will let you to come and see me. Then we'll sit, we will talk. Then we'll, we'll be able to, to fund you, to give you money. And we give up to the tune of 300,000 in form of grants, not loans. Right now, I have about 90 checks for 90 groups that I'm supposed to give this January. Why? Because they organize themselves, not just young people, but even the old people. Uh, mostly women that have big groups. They come and they apply for money. We give them 100, 200, 300. It's in for, uh, for affirmative action. Sasa kama munasema vijana to invest. As you also invest, let your conduct, invest also in your conduct. Because in your conduct, you can go to any office. From there you can go to Uezo. Ask for money. From your conduct, you will also know how to invest from the hustler fund. If you are one who wants to invest. But again, you have to keep off the nonsense of these things. The kuingiaga kwa simu kutukanana, kuongea trash, kukutumiwa, tukana fulani, tukana fulani. If you want to invest, start investing in your conduct. It's going to take you far. It's going to make you different. So that when you come, and when you are coming, you come now properly organized. Sukuyo hata kama ukuwagi na kakoti enda kambutumba. Vaka koti kambuzuri. Vaka smart. Uchanua ginyuele upendi kuchanua. Chanua siku hiyo. Sell image. Let your conduct speak for you. It will open offices for you. Lakini vaa mangepa. Ukuti hapa kwa geti yangu. Wanaona kuwa na uu mama. Siju. Siju muna muitaka sende tama. Muna muitaka nani. Hata ujuangi. Siju anaituwa kwa sende. Siju kwa ni governor. Lakini tunajua kuna masa mungine ya lituangresha huko puwea. Katuambianga na kuanga na mapesa. Saa sisi tumekuja ku. <laughs> now, who, who is going to reset to you? You will not be able to go anywhere. But you can come to my office. Those of you that are from Nairobi, you will go see Pasaris. You will go in Kajiado, see... Uh, what is it? <laughs> Lea. Lea, Sankai. And you'll be there. And you sell your ideas. And people will listen to you. But first invest in your contact. Then Paul is telling Timothy, be an example in love. Sio hilo love nyinyi muna penanga. Iyo enakufil. Sio hilo. The love of God. Is, is not is what I am talking about. I, I, I have no issues with you. I just like you the way you are. Kama sa hivi nye mumekuja, watu wenye hawana love of God, there are people you have started hating. I did not like that girl. I did not. You have a problem. Start feeling people are the way they are because God created them the way they are. If you want to be appreciated, love people the way they are. There's very little you can do about who people are. You are leader of the group may not be the kind of a person that you like. But again, he is the leader. So appreciate who they are. Give them an opportunity to serve you. Give them an opportunity to work together with you. In your schools, you may not like your teacher. You may not like your principal. But that is the people that have been placed in that position. Teach yourself to love them with the love of God. So that you achieve what you want to achieve. When, when time comes, you just will live. Paul is also telling Timothy, be an example in faith. Can you people start building your faith? We are in a country that has a lot of noise today. And people are complaining about everything. Everything. And social media is telling every lie that is sellable. And they are using our young people. But when you are strong in faith, 
you are you able to speak positive. And you see, when you speak positive, you live positive. Me all my life, I kept on telling my brothers and sisters, the one that I'm born with, we are born five in our family. And I know when I was growing up, there are two ahead of me and two behind me. So I am one in the middle. And I used to tell them, the reason why I was born up at Katienu, then when you read the and you know how the elder ones will act. And I kept telling them, you are the Mokani na Magera, oh, the Modomona na Bolo. And they didn't believe me. But I didn't know I will become a Monane of what or from where. So when I started speaking on radios, I kept telling them, Sinir Wambia. Next time, I will be the big thing that you cannot imagine. So when these things that we become, they don't just happen. They start from where we speak. What are you speaking about yourself? I am born in Madare. Mimi hata nilisomeshwa na Compassion International. Hao ndio tu walinisaidia nikapata kusoma. Hata ni hao wananipeanga unga. So mimi sisi tutaishi tu hivyo. So maisha yetu ni ya umasikini. Hata mimi nangojea nizae watoto wasomeshwe na Compassion. Wewe ni kuku. You only need to be telling yourself Compassion International has opened a door for me to become a great person and the first person when you talk about skin And you start telling yourself, I may have been provided for by compassion or by this church or by that church, but this is not my end. My background does not determine my future. My father didn't even have a bicycle. Kwetu wa kuku wana gali. Chuma hile kali ilikuwa kwetu ni hirubaru. Na hile chuma ilikuwa kwetu kali kabisa ni hirubaru. Labda hiyo ndiyo baba yangu walikuwa menunua. But that one has not stopped me from driving the vehicle that the men and women of this country are driving. Why? Because when you start speaking faith in yourself about yourself, you start creating a story about your life. So vijana as you invest, don't just invest because muliambio kwa mkutano. Invest talking to yourself. They are saying the country is very bad. Now when you speak to such people, ebu angalia the times you waste with negative people, with negative energy. By the time unachana, unasikiaga uko drained. Mumuongea juya ruto. Muduyo ma. Aru hita goto nina. Muduyo kilia gitu hea ni ya tianga boto matu wakatia. Tugithira muduyo mudu ni atu. Uwana dira kia ona liu. Tugekinja next year. Kula kiru liu. Ona shukari uli uma ngangiri. Uli uma ngangiri ya mu. Una siya na ite uke wata kudhoma. Siya na kweza ila atu ya ka university. Ena atu ya ka mudu wale lea ngangiri mwana matatu. Do not waste time with such people. Tafadhali. If you want to live long, tigana address you. Kana wala watu wana kuambia, shida ni leo. Kesho, mimi yapo penye muna sema, mi sita kuwa. Mi I know we are going somewhere. And I want to believe we will be somewhere. Like now we've been talking about the issues of electricity. We have had blackouts three times this year. And people, what are people saying? Ah, wukiri na mudu. Ulare, hawa woko, tuko na aduma. Nikiwa ziti mashina horyo. Who is this person that the president wants to bring at night? And even if he wants, there are airstrips everywhere, including schools and churches, where anything can be dropped if that is the essence. But you see, from where I speak, and as a leader in this country, I would only say that the government did the last mile, the last mile of electricity during the, the other tenor of Jubilee. And everybody was asking for electricity. And the president, in very good will, did the last mile of electricity. But the problem was, I took one guess steamer. So, steamer inakuwa overloaded. Ikikuwa overloaded, vile zinafanya steamer are self-controlling. So once it is overloaded and we cannot be able to handle it, then it end off. So the president calls the cabinet, tell me what is happening. Then he's being told this is the situation. We have assessed this is where we are. But we still have motor mingi sana in Trukana. So what do we do? We start creating more stations na tulete motor. So you need to talk to people who have answers. Wacha na watu wakukudrain na negative energy. Wakikuambia ka, hii, president, 
Ole ke ko ya ya ginya viti mama ngai. Ha ya. Yo ndia upusi la iko Kenya hii. If you want to grow, talk to people of faith that my tomorrow must be better than today. Kenya may be difficult, but I know I am making it. I have gone through a very tough time when I'm growing up, but I know one day. Kama sasa wewe ni kasichana kakiambu na unaangalia kwenye ndeia. Unashidu can anything good come from ndeia? Why not? That ndeia that you are living in when we were growing up hakuna mtu wa ndeia angesema kwao ni ndeia. Si ndio director wa compassion. Kuna mtu angesema kwao ni ndeia because the day that was then ilikuwa mpaka inaimbiwa kwa radio. Tasia leiro wito ndeia kanyoba ine karodhiro kondo kwale la 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 yani kuze day day ya inagero thena one acre one acre of land in Deya used to go for 5000 one acre in Deya used to be 5000 how watu ungewaambia kuna siku shida itaisha Ado hale hale na ki niki kwali hela kwa ado hale na ki kanyumba karo dhiro you can imagine nyumba ya ro dhiro ni nyumba itangushwa na ene upepo that is where we came from from Deya today one acre of land in Deya is going for how much 25 million Deya na kwenda na mi and everything so something needs to speak to you that where you come from does not determine your future Where you are going must be greater than where you are coming from. Today people land in Deya could be more expensive than land where I am married here in Kangem. Deya could be more not could be is more expensive than Kangem which is in Westlands. What am I trying to say? I am saying put your faith that it doesn't matter with on Deya. Ona dwade ya matenda aku dwade ya mago akwa oniko Kwetu kangemi watu wetu wa kangemi wanasema kwa ni Westlands Watu wagashie wanasema kwa ni Kitusuru West Watu wa ndeye wanasema kwa ni wapi Oh kikuyu <laughs> Kula mahali watu watakai kusema kwa ni wapi But you see that is where you come from And the moment you start saying I am from Ndeya But they will not dictate my future. My faith is telling me I come from Deya, but I will do my story from a different either country in the world or a different estate in this country that will speak volumes to our people. Faith is what is going to take you to where you want to be. When you keep your faith together. When you put your faith, ukiambiwa hii invest, mnaambiwa uinvest na uanze ku invest na 1000 Shida yenu ni amtaki investment yako kwa kitu kadogo. Mnaongea juu ya investment kubwa. Kipata kitu kama 100k. Mtu anipe kitu kama 200 za itu nikakaa hivi. Kama kuna chokora wengine I don't know whether you saw this on Churchill. Churchill live some couple of years ago. There was this guy alikuwa anaambia mwingine chokora hawa wanakuanga town. Mmoja anaambia mwingine Mimi Mina mina jua by next year. Mimi nitanunua hii KICC. Hii KICC kutoka next year itakuwa yangu. Mimi ndio nitakuwa mwenyewe. Na huyu mwingine anamuuliza, "Nani amekuambia ninaiuza?" <laughs> Dreaming big. Chokora in the streets and talking of you are selling. But the other one is demeaning you. Nauzia nani na nimi nimi ndio ninauza utanunua kwa nani? Sijakwambia ninauza. Faith and believing in yourself. You have nothing lakini unauza KICC. You have nothing na unanunua KICC. Start from where you are. Sasa hii umemaliza shule. Angalia opportunities zinaziko hapo kwenu. Hata unaweza Christmas uzia watu mandazi ama chapo you know there are families that will not have that chapo where pika hizo chapo na uambie ni vile tu sina uwezo ningewapea free 
Lakini kwa sababu sina uwezo kujali tu na katen ten mkichukua anga hizi chapo ujiona na 300 300 uona itafanya nini January after that create opportunities from where you are you are a comedian you now don't need a radio station to do your comedy enda tu kwa TikTok jijaze huko with the proper information utajiona ukienda si huko ndiye tumeona jamaa mwingine i don't know him but i've been following a guy called uh, Bote 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 does nothing he's just a comedian and a funny one just a funny comedian Ana ongea tu tu vitu mimi I follow Bote every day I don't know him na sasa nimeona wale ambao wanajua Bote ameanza kukupewa promotions na companies anawafanyia marketing na Bote aliingia kwa TikTok akiongea kitu kimoja tu Siku moja tu anaongea kitu kimoja tu anasema ati we mtumia samido arori ya radhi ya America we uraga ugathie jafini <laughs> tiaga kina gofu ati aga dunyuje we totigithie mbochene story inaishia hapo anakata the next day bote is there with another story ya yego tida mukinegena ati magoti ni marongereirwo mukoreha mumake mukoreha murihe na waigwa ndukoreha Kenya no yedio mumudu atinerio Kenya gake tubikurira turathi anakata today mbote now is being used by am i talking the truth wala watu wamefuata mbote sasa anauzia watu mpaka mashamba so when you put your faith your conduct your character is right then you are able to do the small things and they start growing ninaanza kukua ka tiktok tu you only need a phone uanze kuongea vitu zenye unajiamini uanze kuenda na character yako uanze kujifunza kushuka nywele uanze kujifunza kupika you possibly will learn from wale watu wamepika huko uzunguni you borrow from youtube unaanza kuzifundishana na kikuyu ufundishe wa mama wa kikuyu kutoweka chakula supu mingi unaanza kuwafundisha wanaanza kupunguza supu why not you can create every anything from anything si tunaambiwa kwa tunapenda supu so unaweza kuja na idea wa mama wa kikuyu punguzeni supu and you create that that's something that i've just thought about unaweza kuwa ni idea yako uanze kupunguza supu watu wakufuate kwa mama wa kikuyu kutoka kuweka supu kwa sukuma wiki so that we grow together and finally Finally Paul is telling Timothy be an example in purity. Utakatifu. Just be pure. Be that girl of integrity. Wacha kujifanya huyo msichana wa kila mahali. Kila mwanaume anapita everywhere huko. You are available. Hana ino oro msio wote ginotana. Available everywhere. And you know they say all that is precious gold silver diamond is mined uko chini hizo vitu mzuri hutafutwa kwa gharama hizo cheap ones that are so available tafadhali wachana nazo wewe bado ni msichana mdogo you are in form 2 what is this stress ati ume break up na ex na uko form 2 na unaongea juu ya ma ex wawili uko form 3 unaongea juu ya ex watatu are you sick Can you start styling up and know there is a time for everything this is time for school watu wakupendana wako huko mbele ati my ex na my ex ya form 3 form 3 huyu troza ameva ni akupewa na wazazi kakoti ni kakupewa kakofia ni kakupewa kangoda ni kakupewa sasa huyu ndio unaambia ati that ni ex the ex hata anafaa kuwa ex times 4 because ni value gani anaongeza kwa maisha yako The other unfortunate thing is about our boys wanaume tafadhali i am I'm just about to put my my motion in parliament my bill in parliament very soon nataka kuwekelea ya the boys kwa sababu sasa nao boys wamekuwa na mashida wengine wanaitwa na tusichana young boys I'm, 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 I'm director i want to do about the minors the 17 a 17 year boy is with a sleep with a 13 year old girl a 14 and a 15 a 16 and a 17 a 17 and a 13 na ni tusichana sasa ingine tunaitana tunaita boy child tukikula chocolate sausages everything kanaita to boys so our law of um, sexual offense act 
ina 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 kuaga very unfair to the boy child because what happens with these minors the girl goes to school the boy goes to prison so i am telling our boy and you look at a 17 year old boy being taken to prison for 25 years because of sleeping with a 15 year old girl or even a age mate then you ask yourself why should we put a 17 year for 25 years for something he didn't even know it was a sin who even told them it is a sin is a mambo atuongeaga nyumbani kwetu ama nyinyi munaongeaga mauliza mashi hizo tutiaragi our culture does not allow us to speak such things so what we need to do is to remain you young man remain Kaza tu mwili wako until you are with the right person usijiingize kwa mashida na hii serikali please jikaze tu kaa na watu wenye mnaelewana lugha wacha kucheza na utu wa tuchana the people who are in business and are following and looking for ways to put you down be pure we are in a world that things are very dirty gadgets easy which is unatoa huku pornography avoid them they will destroy your future vitu za tabia mbaya tabia mbaya mbaya za mama za homosexuality ati gays mwanaume unaambia mwanaume mwingine ati unampenda na unaanza kumuguza unaruhusu mwanaume mwingine akuguze aje you know god is not is not another of confusion god created ukiangalia mahali wasichana wamekaa look at all the places where women are there are some bright colors. That is why God created women. To be bright everywhere. From where I stand. Look at all the bright colors when ziko. Na uangalia mahali wanaume wameka. Ata panaka kagiza kidogo. Kama hapa. Look at here. Kana kagiza. Angalia pale wachungaji wameka. Apana kagiza kidogo. Because even when we look at the hands. Look at the hands of women. Very soft. Zimewe kwa hivi. Ndiyo mwanaume akiguza. Anasikia ameguza kitu mzuri. Sasa unaenda kuguza mikono ya mwanaume na ikona mishipa huku. Inakaa kama ya miti. Hau. Hata kama sio masomo, the basic common sense. Magoti. Angalia magoti ya wamama. Very soft. Kitu. Kitu. Kitu unasema mali safi chito. Heya we. Mali safi chito. Heya we. Hey, sweet. Malisa visit. I a director. I jira wa yon. Minji, minji, minji lagwe. Hey, awe. Ocha ni kujifanya. Malisa visito. Hey, awe. Hey, sweet. Malisa visit. Oh, minji minji lagwe. Hey, awe. Sweet. Pass, dio iyo. Magoti iyo, minji minji. Very soft. Alafu nana kutafutana na magoti ya wanaume. Inakaa kama shoka. Itha noa. Itha noa leke kwa dhana na itha noa lele ya leke. Ayata njiji saigine. Mitu singine azingiagi kwa kichwa. So in purity, let us be. So Paul, Paul tells Timothy, let no one look down on you, but be an example in number one, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For the sake of openness, can I have my 13 that were here when you're to now? Staki siyasa zinifuate after this. Atisijui nani yalikuwa na nani hakuwa. Let me have my... The county director, Compassion International, Chukulisa, the organizer of this meeting, and all protocols observed. I am grateful to be part of this meeting this afternoon. The reason why I've decided to award these students is because the director wa Compassion International amesema mahali hii life imefika saa hii ni kujituma. Si kugojea utumwe ni kujituma. When things are happening, be there. Lakini sasa unajua kuna watu wengine who can even do better than those who are here. But you decided to be silent and to wait. 
That is now an example I wanted to show you of what happens ukijituma. Ukijituma you find yourself ahead of so many things. Lakini if you are one who keeps waiting, waiting for things to happen, mambo yatakuja yakikupita kila wakati, yatakuwa yanakupita and every time you will be left there. Seeing others moving as you keep watching. Life imetufikisha mahali in this country ya kwamba ni kujituma. You have kujituma and run ahead because the competition in this country is very high. So kama haujitumi then you will find yourself in in a problem. So I just wanted us to see the meaning of kujituma. I am sure we have some there who are very good but they sit and they watch. My name is Anne Wamurada. I've heard people call me the women rep. The, the actual name is woman. One. One woman representing the county. Not women. Women rep could be representing women. But I'm not a I don't represent women in the National Assembly. I am one woman representing the county. So it is called the woman rep. Though officially it is called the county member of parliament. I sit in the National Assembly and I sit in the Education Committee representing the county of Kiambu. One woman representing the county. So we are 47 of us. It's an, it's an affirmative action seat. So it is the women, the, the woman rep and not the women. It's woman. One woman representing the county. So county director, Compassion International. I am one woman. <laughs> representing the county. And it is not about him. A majority of people, even on TV, talk of women reps. But we are woman rep. I thank God for Chukulisa who has really struggled to get me. It wasn't easy because as I have said, I'm in the education committee and a majority of you know that in the education we have had a big crisis. So we have had meetings back to back and it was very hard for her to find me in Kiambu. She kept looking for me in Kiambu, but a majority of the times we were in Nairobi and meetings all over, even all over the country. But I want to thank God that today I got the opportunity to come and be part of this meeting. I just want to be very brief because I am to attend something else. Chukulisa, this is also a very tricky time for, for, for us. Adults. It's a very good time for the students. It is also a very tricky time for us and especially this week when we are closing down and offices are closing down. Uh, especially now for me, you've seen I came alone because we closed our office yesterday and our people have gone for holiday until next year. So I want to believe that next time maybe you bring it a bit earlier in December so that you still also can get enough because you ought to have gotten a representation from the county government which I'm also sure they are closing down today and possibly they may not have gotten an opportunity to be here. But I want to thank God that I am here and uh, that God has given me this opportunity to come and part, be part of what you people are doing. But one thing I want to tell us, and I want us to, I only want to talk now to the compassion and to the clergy around here. I just want us to first understand this one thing. That the youths we are dealing with are not the youths of our time. They we, we need to understand the world they are coming from and where we are and understand how to connect with them. Sometimes we are trying to talk to them. The things, I have them in my house and I talk to them. My husband is a reverend in the Anglican church. But my eldest son, who is 25, is not Anglican. He's Mavuno. And every time I ask, when the time he wanted to go to Mavuno, he told the father, Dad, me napenda yo church yako. Na dad ni vizuri, muna preach. Bakini nyinyi, muko na disconnect kubwa sana na sisi. Hizo vitu muna ongeanga. Na sisi, tuko dunia mbili tofauti. Mujipangeni mkuja hapa karibu na penye tuko. And I realized, we have a big gap of where we are coming from. And I think as a church, we will need to, to sit and relook. Like now, I've realized, our students no longer want to go for camps. You know why? As to kwa tunajiuliza camp itakuja lini? Camp inatangazwa at we are going where? At to Alliance High School to Kalale huko for the camp. Hawa wanaulizanga why should we go? 
Ubaki kwa shule kwenye tumetoka saa hii tumefunga tumekuja home alafu mnaturudisha huko tukalala kwa dom hatutaenda huko so they don't want to go for those camps but for us it was yearning when will are we going to close school tatuko hata sengine tunaenda kulala kwa vitanda tulikuwa tunaenda kulala kwa soda sti mnakumbuka mahali kulikuwa kunawekwa miura alafu tunaweka minyore tunaweka miringeti hapo ati tunahubiri Ebu tu mahawa huko ati waende wakalale you will have to explain even now that i'm saying they've never had such things they don't happen so what i want to ask of us i do not know because i also don't have an answer but i think we need to call ourselves for a meeting and ask ourselves who are these people that we are dealing with this uh, the generation z it's called the z generation we need to sit and ask ourselves who are these people that we are dealing with so that when we come to talk to them like now i also have a girl who is who has just turned 18 and uh, when you know sisi wa mama our generation we used to making noise hey this amuku wash vyombo si jindi ndi these ones are like mommy can you reduce your volume we making noise for you know <laughs> Our time haungiambia mama yako hivyo how ile vita ungenyoroshwa ni mingi so my daughter is like tuliza you know i'm so annoyed and she's there telling me haya si utulie mam chill chill si vyombo ni sisi tunaosha tunaosha yetu ilikuwa by the time una explain vita pap imeingia so i don't know clergy you will have to advise me because we will need to sit and ask ourselves who we are dealing with and when we have such meetings for them we look at what impacts we also need to find out from them how exactly are we supposed to be handling such meetings they could be having a different opinion of how they would want us to handle such things because when we do them our way our style the way we did it we might find that we are talking to ourselves because then they will not say no because you said they come but chukulisa because we need to have an impact on all these things i need we need we need to to sit and ask ourselves uh, and i know we have this generation even at home I, the the director of compassion international you also have them at home a and you listen when we are talking to them they 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 like want to reason with you and like us where we never i don't even think whether we used to think did we ever used to think i don't think we were given an opportunity to think because it's like our parents were the were, were the gospel truth it's like they looked at us they communicated it's going out just by the eyes we went out by the look of the eyes sleep by the look of the eyes go out by the look of the eyes wagen wamekuja there is bread go out these ones you don't communicate like that tufunge macho wa kuogope they will even ask you hiyo macho yako ni mgonjwa because to them can you tell me what you want can you tell me where we are fortunately or unfortunately this was not your meeting let me not talk to you but it was just food for thought we need to ask ourselves what who are we dealing with what are these things that they want how is it uh, that they, they, they need to be handled so that when we deal with them we know who we are talking to i'm realizing at my age niko na gap kubwa sana na wao as i address them but now to you who are here today the guy from kajiado almost preempted me and i almost told you can you just shut up and sit down because you almost wanted to do what i wanted to do today when you started talking i said why should he why should this guy come and talk what i want to speak because i wanted to come and speak to you on what paul told timothy in the book of timothy chapter 4 and i almost told him gentlemen can you just uh, i was happy when he stopped talking because i said if you move to the next chapter or if he moves next then i will be out of context and maybe i will not know what to come and say or maybe i'll be forced to to change what i i am first timothy 4 those of you who have your bibles first timothy 4 verse 12 let no one despise your youth but set, but set the to believers an example in speech, conduct, love, faith, and in purity. I'm not a preacher. I don't want to preach. 
But I just want us to look at, uh, to listen to that voice of Paul instructing Timothy. That do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. Then he puts a but. When there is a but after every statement, then there is a cancel over what you are supposed to do. He is telling him, do not let anyone look down on you. But even when you don't want anyone to look down on you, you also have to do something to prove that you need not to be looked down at. So as a young person, when we look at you, when we see you living your life, we are able to interpret the kind of a person you want to be, to be in future. Because looking at us, looking at us and how we grew up, looking at you and how you grew up, interpreting who you are, and looking at the kind of a person that you are, and interpreting who, where you come from, and where you come from. Just like the um, director told us, that even when we were growing up, everybody had a dream of what they wanted to become. But in our time, there were not very many careers that we knew about. We knew people became teachers, we knew people became nurses, we knew people became lawyers, and we knew it was teachers, nurses, doctors, lawyers, and police. We never knew there were other careers. I think we lived in Stone Age. It was a world of our own. But you now, you are in a world where you are being told that you can even sit in the house and earn from the table by being a content creator. Then there were no such things. And even if they were ever talked about, we could not have imagined when you, where you are a content creator. But again today, we are talking of people who have a whole wide range of opportunities and things they can be able to do, only that they have not been tapped. So Paul is telling Timothy, I mean Paul is telling Timothy, do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. But in everything that you do, in everything that you do, let you prove yourself as an example. In speech, that is number one, that is the way you talk. The way you talk should tell people that you understand what you are doing. When you are addressing your elders, when you are addressing your teachers, in your speech, the way you, you talk tells people so much about you. When you come and talk to me, how do you address me? Good morning, Mweshumiwa. Good morning, our woman rep. Good morning, woman rep Kambu. Good morning, our MP. But there are people who have grown up mannerlessly that when you want to address anybody, you will address them the way you